Welcome back to Coffee Time. Today we're going to look at an app for the iPhone and the iPad that will allow you to create screencast type videos with your image in it, much like this is doing in Camtasia. The difference is I can't um, you know, move around the screen and annotate things. It doesn't see the, the uh, mouse moving or that kind of thing, but it, it does take still images or still PowerPoint slides, keynote slides, those kinds of things, and allow you to create short videos that you can share with students or that students can share with you. So let's grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and let's take a quick look at Move Note today. Let me get my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, You'll see that I have Move Note in the uh, on this particular screen, and I'm just going to open it up. Whoop, I'm going to open it up, um, and immediately you'll see there is a camera. And if I turn this way and look at this camera over here on the right hand side of my iPad, then it looks more like I'm actually looking into this screen. I, I think it's this screen on uh, Camtasia, um, and it also you'll see under the video there is a flip cam deal so that I can flip the camera. Now, I haven't tried this in the middle of a recording, so I'm going to do that when I do this uh, sample here in a minute. But I like the flip cam idea because for student work especially, they could be working in pairs to create something that would demonstrate to you their knowledge of a particular concept by creating something in PowerPoint or Keynote or whatever that they're doing. Pull that in as image files to move note. And one student could be responsible for operating the iPad, and the other student could be responsible for being the, the on-camera personality, as it were. You'll see I have a little sign here that says up in the top corner, I have a plus button, and that's where I add content. And so I'm going to quickly add uh, five images. So I'm just going to click up here, and I apologize that my finger is coming up over the camera in Move Note. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. We went to the High Museum of Art on a field trip recently, and I took a few images while I was there. So I'm just going to pull those in, and you'll see I'm just clicking the plus sign, going to my camera roll, holding down the image that I want to insert, and it's doing one after the other. It's creating them in order that I'm putting them in. Uh, if I want to change the order, I will have to delete an image and then put it back in where I want it. Um, okay, so here are a couple of things. On the iPhone app, um, it only takes landscape style images. So you would not be able to see this much of an image that you're seeing here in portrait mode as you are on the iPad. It only takes um, landscape, and think about what that word was, landscape style images. In this particular deal on the iPad, there are a couple of things that will happen. I can adjust this image, okay, um, but it doesn't matter. This is what, I can do that even while I'm videoing, doesn't matter. What you're seeing right here is what's going to show up in the screen. Now, I can also do this right here while I'm recording. That does show up. However, on the iPhone, it doesn't. It only shows the transition. So little differences, little, little nuanced differences between the iPhone and the iPad version. I'm going to come back here to the beginning. I'm going to show you just how easy this is to record. All I have to do is push the record button. Now in the middle, I'm going to try to change cameras and see if it will do that. Not every app does that. A lot of apps do not allow you to change cameras. So if that happens, that's going to be a big plus for me. So let's take a look. I'm going to uh, press this little red button and I'm going to look at the screen over here on my iPad instead of the screen on my laptop and it is recording so I'm going to be looking at that camera and talk about the fact that uh, I can make transitions simply by pulling the images swiping them from right to left and I mentioned before if I do this sort of wobbly thing in the middle that's going to show up that's something that kids should know here is where a good point is I'll flip the camera see if it will flip in the middle of the recording. It does not. Good to know. Okay. Um, and then here we were talking about the fact that um, 
I can go up and down with the image um, and we'll see if that shows up in the finished product. And again here, we'll see if I can pull that up and leave it there to show while I'm in the middle of a, vi of a video. Just to sort of show you what it will do or won't do, I'm going to stop recording. It now gives me two options. I can save that and preview it, and when I do that, it's going to automatically start previewing, so you'll see it on the screen. Or if I start over, it doesn't take the images out, but it does erase the video section. So I'm just going to do save and preview. We're going to merge that video together. Doesn't take very long. And it's automatically playing. You can see that if I tap the screen, my control bar comes up at the bottom uh, where I can sort of look at it and it's going through. And somewhere in here, I tried to change the camera. It will not change during video. Um, but you'll see that the swiping that I did on the screen automatically went back and forth between images. So students need to know if they mess that up while they're doing it, it's going to show up in the finished product. And so it did not do the camera. And here is where we're going to try to do the up and down motion with the picture. And you'll see that I'm swiping it, but it doesn't show up in the finished product. That's also something students need to know. They can't scroll up and down to show you more of the image. So they need to take images that actually fit. Now, more than likely, if I took a picture with the iPad, it would probably fit in that slot. Uh, but these are images I've edited off my camera, and so they don't necessarily do that. So if I want to save it and share it, I have this up here in the upper right-hand corner. And we'll just call it, uh, I'm going to call it, yeah, we'll just call it that. It's compressing the image, uh, and it's getting ready to upload. And there are a couple of things that are not available, which I was surprised at. So we're going to wait for that to pull up. And do you want to share the movies? I'm going to say yes. And here are my options at the moment. I can do it to Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, LinkedIn, total social networking. I can also send it as an email, which is what I would prefer to do, and then send it out in, in a message format. If I send it in an email, students get a link, and they can view that um, through an internet connection, Wi-Fi connection, they can view that uh, on their iPad or their iPhone. At the moment, I have not figured out if there's a way to download and save that image offline. Um, but you know, I could, as a teacher, I could do that by coming into something like Camtasia and re-recording it later and just letting it play and record. But I don't want to have to do that. So I'm just going to close that out. If I go to my inbox, uh, you'll see that I have sent a previous version to myself um, in, uh, in an email. If I browse, here are both versions. I haven't deleted them. Here are both versions I've done. So everything that I've done is saved, and I can do that. Uh, and again, I can come back in here and say, okay, this is the one that I just did at 1037. I can share it from here if I want to and pull that same box back up again. Um, so Move Note is an, is an app, I think that, um, as, a, as a teacher, I think it's an app that I would use. Um, because I can, especially thinking about student projects where they create something, work in groups to create this video together. They write a script, they read the script, they record themselves. So much better than having to write out an essay, do a book report, movie review, those kinds of things. And they're things that once they've recorded them, they can show them through AirPlay to the rest of the class and demonstrate their product no or their, their uh, knowledge there. Teachers can do the same thing. They can uh, record things on the fly. You don't have to have fancy equipment. You don't have to have your laptop with you. You can do it on the iPad. Um, and I especially like the idea of students being able to do this on a field trip, taking pictures of things that really interested them and then shooting a short video explaining what was happening there, what the significance of that particular thing was for them, and why they liked it, or what the history was behind it, and then being able to share that with you when they get back to class. So I think that you would enjoy MoveNote, and I uh, hope you'll give it a try. Drop me a line in an email or put a comment here on, uh, on the video and let me know what you think. 
And until we meet again, enjoy the coffee.